And it's been a rough go for local small businesses. Challenges from COVID, civil unrest, and inflation are lingering. Jacino's Pizza in South Minneapolis says that they have been especially impacted. Our Jason Brantola shows us how they are trying to bring people back in the door. For nearly half a century, Chiquino's Pizza and Pasta has been a South Minneapolis mainstay. I think the longevity in the community is definitely something that sets us apart. But that staying power has been tested in recent years. Right now we're really struggling with getting people to come into the door. Part of that struggle is due to their location, just two blocks north of George Floyd Square. My name is Amy Keegan. I'm with Chiquino's Pizza and Pasta on 36th in Chicago in South Minneapolis. It's something owner Amy Keegan even brought up at a recent Minneapolis City Council meeting. As you can imagine, it's definitely been a struggle over the last few years. I think the perception of what people see when they when they come into this area is, is, is a challenge that we're definitely facing. The rerouting of people is also part of the problem, with both bus routes and traffic routing away from the area since George Floyd's murder and the unrest that followed. Hundreds of people would be coming by every day on that bus route, and, and now they, they turn the corner and, and miss us. They're, we're not getting that stopped traffic. The goal now, getting people back in and giving them a reason to stay. The past year, the owners have redone the facade and are adding a bar with hopes for a hard liquor license, both coming soon if all goes as planned. We had a local woodworker, um, carpenter woodworker, do the, the bar top. Um, we're trying to also uh, find ways for people to stay a little bit longer, so we brought in the TVs as well. The two owners say it's about addressing misconceptions that the area is unsafe while reinvesting in their community to ensure their place for another half century. We feel safe, um, and so we just need to, those people to kind of think outside the box of what their current comfort level is and, and kind of reinvigorate them coming into the, back into the community. In Minneapolis, Jason Rantala, WCCO News. So both owners will be seeking their hard liquor license approval at City Council. This will be on Tuesday. If that goes through, both the bar and liquor should be flowing within a couple of weeks.